All right, uh, another video of another toy I picked up. Picked up a bunch of amps lately, eh? Um, this one is a uh, pretty much a ham amplifier, a Meritron AL811H. It uh, uses four 811A tubes. However, uh, 572B tube is a direct fit. Um, that produces more power um, so this one has uh, a mismatched set of uh, 572B's in it uh, one set's like new or one pair and the other set is um, uh, not full not quite full power so we got a mismatched set in there of 572B's because I didn't have 811A's and it didn't come with any um, with the 572B's uh, run cooler anyway this one isn't a powerhouse. Um, it doesn't have like a really big transformer, and it doesn't produce a ton of voltage um, for those tubes, especially the 572Bs. It's more like a clean running, you know, loaf around 500 watt, uh, very clean ham amplifier. No driver in it. Um, it takes about a uh, 60 70 watts to recommend a drive and that's from a uh, Ameritrine not me that's the inside it's a full uh, 10 through uh, 160 meter amp and that's the insides of it it's got a uh, pi output uh, pi input circuit Runs very quiet, very cool. Got a small fan in there. Over in this corner behind the power supply to pull air or push air through there. Uh, comes from the factory with the LED lights up uh, nice and bright like that when you turn it on. Um, pretty much uh, no warm up time or 9 seconds, 10 seconds warm up time on the tubes when you turn it on. On the front we got uh, IP which is plate current, HV is um, high voltage. You got operate standby switch. Um, this is keyed by a foot pedal or it's got to be wired into the uh, relay control of a, a transmitter anyway. And your main power on and off. Uh, standard tune and load. And uh, band switch with uh, 160 through uh, 10 10 12 meters the auxiliary it comes from the factory uh, with 10 and 12 meters disabled and uh, they say if you write the company that uh, they tell you how to uh, modify it for 10 12 meters but it's actually very easy I found that on the net where there's a green wire if you can see that little piece of green I left sticking out there wire actually it's in two places uh, if you see the little piece above and below the green piece of wire sticking out that I cut off it goes from the uh, inside of that PC board through a hole through the outside and then back in again and all that does is ground out the uh, 10 meter coil so when you go to try to use this amp on 10 meters with that wire in place uh, it grounds out the input and with no input going in, of course, you don't get no output. And the fix for that is to, um, actually, there's a cover behind that, which I found out afterwards, that you just uh, remove the cover. And the, and the reason it goes around and through, I think, is to make it easy access to that wire. You don't even have to take the um, top cover off at all. Let's take that access panel cover off and cut the wire. And then you have uh, full operation from uh, 10, 12 meters on the auxiliary. And that's it as far as the mod for 10, 12 meters. There's another update I saw on this online where uh, the original parasitics, which is uh, those coils there next to the big resistors, had uh, six turns of coil. And they found that on 10 meters it was unstable and sometimes the parasitics would overheat and blow. Um, so they changed it to five uh, turns, but this one it came 
to me I already changed so I don't know if the factory did it or somebody did it but uh, it has that mod too so I uh, should be stable on 10 and 12 meters and other than that I know no other mods or anything to it um, completely stocked very clean like you see um, fairly new amp it hasn't been out all that long I don't know what year it came out but we're gonna key it down right quick well first we're gonna show you what we have putting into it um, everything's on standby on the regular radio we on the 20 watt scale of the trusty MFJ watt meter that's 20 watt scale so we're only keying it less than a watt hello 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 and swinging about 14 on average and then we got the little driver amp because that's really not enough to uh, push this uh, uh, Maritron here so we um, pulled a little uh, Browning 180 out the closet and we're still on the 20 watt well scale average with the dead key and we did keen about 12 and we're gonna go to the uh, 200 watt scale on average to show you what it's swinging to hello 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 about 70 80 watts which is about the recommended drive for this and that's on average so now we're gonna go to the 2000 watt scale and turn the little driver off and just the radio going into it with that half watt dead key but the radio swings to about uh, 15 20 hello 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 now that's a 2000 watt scale audio with just the radio going into it hello 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 it's going up to about 150 on average and now we're going to turn the little uh, browning driver on and did keen about 200 hello 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 swinging about 500 on average uh, that's the voltmeter and the grid current that's kind of loafing along and gonna switch it over to the plate current meter instead of the voltage and uh, back key down hello 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 just loafing along and uh, back over here to the watt meter on average hello 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 just kissing 500 and we're gonna put it on peak I think I hit the button hello Hello, yep. Hello, 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 hello. Just over 800 peak. Audio, audio. And that's about all this uh, little amp does. Um, push it harder, you're gonna kill it. It's not designed for a kilowatt, you know, out or or heavy duty power. But a uh, nice little clean, quiet, dependable uh, little 500 watt amplifier, the Maritron. A-L-8-11-H. See ya.